The mayor has said this a lot of times, arts and culture for everybody. Mayor Bill de Blasio and Cultural Affairs Commissioner Tom Finkelpearl announced the selection of 10 new expanded partnerships for funding under the Mayor's Grant for Cultural Impact, or MGCI. MGCI's initiative is to provide grants of $50,000 to arts and cultural organizations working in partnerships with city agencies. Lehman College became the host site of City Hall in your borough, which kicked off with a press conference about this initiative. That's why it's called the Mayor's Grant for Cultural Impact. So it's not just the quality of the art, which is very, very important, but it's the impact the art can have on people's lives. Assistant Director of Social Impact Programs at Carnegie Hall, Ayana Cole, was one of the grantees this year. She aims to educate the youth and young adults about pathways to employment through the arts. We are um, making sure that this grant goes to creating employment opportunities for young people across New York City. At the end of the day, young people across every neighborhood in New York City has an opportunity to get more involved in the creative arts and to be uh, paid as part of their learning process and engagement process. We are partnering with the Department for the Aging and we are serving uh, their greater network. Uh, we started serving naturally occurring retirement communities, which are essentially apartment buildings or neighborhoods that the city has identified enough people are aging in place. So they are a NORC. We are so excited because it's January 31st. This project ends June 30th, and we have already scheduled 128 concerts. We are reaching 25 NORCs, and we expect to do 200 concerts, reaching an additional 1,000 older residents. We're just really thrilled to be here and so grateful. People's Theatre Project was thrilled to receive a renewal grant this year and closed the City Hall with a special performance. This is a play inspired by a letter that a um, uh, political asy asylum seeker wrote about her experience on the border. She was separated from her son, so we created this piece, it's called Las Mariposas. It's a 45 minute play that talks about the family separation that is happening right now at the borders. Reporting for BronxNet, Ashley Tiffany.